Now, a game-changing obesity drug which can reduce body weight has been given the green light for use in Ireland and other European countries. But how exactly does it work? Well, to answer that, we're joined by the HSE lead for obesity, Dr. Donald O'Shea. Uh, Donald, tell us a little bit about this new drug. Uh, so it's exciting times in, in the management of obesity, you know, for... I suppose decades we've been struggling to to deal with what we now know is a chronic disease Uh, and now we're finally beginning to get drugs that are addressing it just like we have drugs that treat high blood pressure just like we have drugs that treat cancer so this drug works uh, by uh, reducing appetite uh, increasing uh, your energy burn a little bit and uh, basically if you add it to lifestyle modification you get uh, very impressive um, w- what kind of what kind of results are, are we talking about 20 is it 20 percent is that is that as much as you could potentially yeah. lose in body weight yeah so I mean what what we're seeing with the, the and, and this is the first of of a, a number of cl- medications that are going to we're going to have over the next um kind of 10 years but you are seeing results equivalent to obesity surgery uh in terms of of weight loss in uh the uh, you know in in certain patients now not everybody responds yeah. Uh, so, you know, you need to target this treatment to people uh, in whom it works. Uh, but that's the same as uh, any treatment for any disease. Of and we've been using this treatment for um, diabetes for the last about 12, 13 years. So we know it's safe. Uh, and what this uh kind of uh, this new drug, if you like, it's it's at a different dose for weight loss, but it's the same compound uh, and people will be familiar with it uh, as and do we, Victoza. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, do we know their diabetes? Yeah. Do we know the cost of it then, given that it's already there for diabetes? Do, you, do we know how much it's going to cost? And, and will it be covered, I suppose, um, will it be covered by the HSE if, if, if people are getting yeah, so, such treatment? I mean, that's the essential question. So, it's it's expensive, um, so uh, I don't have an exact price on it, but it's it's certainly of the order of you know several hundred, uh, you know, two or three hundred euro per month. Uh, so it, it, what we need is we need it to be covered by the HSE for people who will benefit from it because this medication will stop you from developing some of the complications of obesity like type 2 diabetes, like high blood pressure. So ultimately that's going to be very cost uh, effective uh, and what we need to do is is, uh, use it in the right individuals, those who have uh, obesity and complications from their obesity because there's lots of people who are either overweight or have obesity and and don't have any uh, health complications and and they're not the people who who will need uh, this treatment. Okay, so we're not talking about people here who might be a stone overweight or something uh, that it's this product is not for them. No, you can be uh, you can be healthy at any weight uh, and you can have lots of complications uh, if you're uh, you know people will uh, have sleep apnea and type 2 diabetes uh, and, and their BMI will be maybe 30 or 35 uh, and people will have a body mass index of 40 and not have type 2 diabetes and not have sleep apnea and, and they won't need this treatment. OK, uh, well, look, thanks indeed for filling us in on that HSE lead for obesity, uh, Dr. Donal O'Shea. Keir, I imagine there'll be significant demand for this product. I also imagine it will be covered because of the difficulties that obesity causes in terms of the health of people yeah. and the cost of that to the health service. But yes, uh, exciting and interesting times.